Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 1st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanism. Starting out here, looking at our sun. We do have that Earth-facing sunspot, and as well, coronal hole. Another developing sunspot there southern region and as well southwest and southwestern region cresting in all this activity going outward small cme was ejected from the right side there outgoing having a quick look here at the sunspots and as well full activity here multi-spectrum one two three four five sunspots now and an earth facing coronal hole so we can expect that's actually been sitting in front of us for almost 36 48 hours so we will be expecting the coronal hole wind stream here pretty soon we're sitting pretty low for solar winds having a look here at iswa as you can see that small cme ejected in the outgoing position just missing the Parker Solar Probe. And as well, all that activity getting ready to smack into Stereo B as well. Real time solar wind flatlined here at 294 kilometers per second, but it's the increasing density. That's a telltale sign that we are on the way to the coronal hole wind stream, which is on its way. Having a look at our Schumann resonance for today, a low power of 9, sorry, a power of 8, a quality of 8.6. Nothing major to report there. Having a quick look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. And we've still been pretty busy, but not really across North America. But Panama today, seeing a 5.5 earthquake activity coming back to South America, Central America, as forecasted, waiting for. So south of Panama, 5.5. And as well, a 5.3 here to report in Bolivia at a 207-kilometer depth. As well, a 5.0 Argentina, 43-kilometer depth. 4.5 here reported Shetland Islands, 10-kilometer depth. And as well, another earthquake here, 4.9. East Pacific rise. Activity slowing down through Puerto Rico, largest seeing 3.0 across the United States. I know there's a lot of people that like to follow Yellowstone. Well, this is the last 30 days. Not much really to worry about. I would say more so we'd be worried about the Long Valley caldera and up into the Salton Sea. Sorry, Long Valley Volcanic Field. That's the last 30 days for earthquakes throughout this whole region. You can see there are stresses across all these three major plates here. And heading northeastward. Big blob of earthquakes right from the Salton Sea and northward. What's going on? West Coast, Texas, seeing two earthquakes today, 3.1, 3.1. As well, Aguanga, California, 3.4 reported there today as well, 2.7, 2.5. Bridgeport, California with a 3.1. 
and as well Stanley Idaho 3.6 reported today so largest earthquake in North America is a 3.6 Stanley Idaho notable earthquake here 2.5 Washington all of a sudden the earthquakes have disappeared from Alaska that's a bit concerning we could see another large earthquake coming up from Alaska that 6.1 may have been a precursor so stay aware and prepared mercury retrograde coming up soon earthquakes coming to south Russia Kamchatka Shevelich has, op has awakened over the past couple days. Lots of earthquakes here through Japan. Lots of fours north of the islands and south of the islands. Interesting. Very interesting. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by large earthquakes around the world. Be ready and have a plan. Philippines with a 4.6. 4.4 here, Indonesia, 189 kilometer depth. Papua New Guinea seeing a 4.9. And the deepest earthquake today, a 4.8, 583 kilometer depth. And we should be seeing, like to stay regular, we should be seeing at least one deep earthquake today in that region. As well, a couple earthquakes here, border with Tajikistan, and Afghanistan, 4.5, 4.0. And as well, 4.7 here in Greece, northeastern Greece. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Heads up, North America, especially Alaska. This is a warning. We do have a Mercury retrograde coming up. And stay tuned for that video coming soon. Having a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Zoning in on the forecasted regions here. Expecting a larger earthquake, especially after that deep 583 kilometer depth in Fiji. I think it's going to stay pretty quiet through the African plate and northward into Europe. South America. South Sandwich Islands and Alaska. That's where I'm watching. So heads up, everybody, and just have a plan. Much love. And thanks, everybody, for joining the family. A lot of new followers. Thank you. God bless. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center showing Tropical, uh, tropical Storm Blanca, who is slowly heading nor west, northwest, more west than northwest, but... Uh, Let's hope that it scoots quickly west overnight and the sun tomorrow is not able to pull it eastward because that's what kind of what I'm worried about. I'm hoping that the, that tropical system does not go north and get pulled into the California coast. We also have a tropical, uh, tropical depression, Chowen, who is now right over top of the Philippines, northern Luzon just as a tropical depression right now. And it looks like here, satellite imagery, we could have a couple more roaring up behind it in the long range forecast. Most recent volcano stop update, Swiss and Ajima, Reventador, Nirigongo, Semeru, Pacaya, Fuego, Sabincaya, Senge, and Popo, I always say short. <laughs> Nevada is the Chilean. And uh, Semis Napochnoi, Carinchi, Etna, Dokono, Chevalouche. So, yeah, many. We've had about 16 volcanoes updated today. And I apologize. I have not gotten the volcanic activity report out just yet. I'm staying pretty busy here. Having a look here, five day forecast brought to you by Midi Earth and daily events worldwide. Overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta, as it feels like hot, hot, hot summer out there and I need a beach and there are no beaches around. I'm living in the tundra right now, it's 31 degrees. What's up? Enjoy the summer, everybody. As you can see, not much rain forecasted, but there, are, there is a system here coming later in the week.
and we could see some thunderstorms here in Alberta and as well Saskatchewan and Manitoba throughout the week as that system comes through. Very hot underneath that cold low coming from the north. So yeah, watch for extreme weather from pretty much southern Alberta and eastward through the prairies and then watch for that system to quickly scoot out to the Atlantic provinces but not before dropping a little bit of snow northern Manitoba after being 31 degrees in some parts overlooking at southeastern United States watch for a lot of rain to be falling here southeastern coast and as well a Another Gulf low here developing Mexico and Texas border. Here is the five-day forecast for Tropical Cyclone Blanca. But yeah, you can see here a long-range forecast, another big low moving into Texas and the Gulf Coast. So heads up, my American friends down there overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, big high-pressure ridge still steering those low pressure systems northward and bringing in all of this nice warm equatorial moisture or sorry dry air but not before scooting in a little bit of moisture here from the uk so with those warm temperatures and the northern low coming in watch for extreme weather to go through central parts of europe through romania and north eastward and then watch for this uh, low pressure system here over Turkey and Georgia. Hot temperatures across Kuwait, Iran, and as well north to Afghanistan, India. Extreme heat is a big deal. So heads up, friends and family around the world. Having a look here. Southeast Asia, India, monsoon rains will continue here for the next few days as that one low decides to finally track eastward through the atmospheric river into the Pacific Ocean. Forecast model there for Chowen, as well daily evaporation rains here through Papua New Guinea, watch for heavy rains and as well a possible development of another tropical storm overlooking Australia. Watch for this system to scoot away by pretty much Friday. And then, yeah, big high-pressure ridge moving in and some really cool temperatures towards southeastern parts of Australia. Could be an interesting long-range forecast with the systems that are developing in the Indian Ocean as well. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide because things can change overnight, especially when our space weather starts affecting us. 600 kilometer per second winds kind of thing. You know what I mean? Overlooking New Zealand, watch for that low pressure system to come into southern parts. Overlooking Hawaii and the Pacific Ocean, watch for a little bit of rain. Honolulu. But then some interesting systems coming into the west coast here of North America. And that's going to bring some pretty intense winds from a fast-moving Pacific system. And some pretty cool temperatures, higher elevations across BC still. And as well northward towards the Yukon, Northwest Territories. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains throughout the week. Looks like heavier towards Colombia. That's about it. Line of moisture here from intense low pressure system in the Atlant uh, South Atlantic. Overlooking Africa, no major weather events except for this low pressure system here that's trying to leave and go southward but not before bringing some pretty nasty cold temperatures to parts of South Africa. And as well, quite a bit of moisture towards the coastal regions. But 
that interesting little whippersnapper there coming out of Madagascar. And very interesting southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love, everybody, and thank you so much for watching, tuning in to The Daily Do, daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to earthquakes, volcanoes, natural disasters, and, of course, above all, weather. This has been the World Weather Forecast, Space Weather Update, and Earthquake Update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. And welcome to the Do Crew. Hashtag Do Crew everywhere. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the